Hey everyone, this is Brandon One Arch, and today we have a was it 50 or more movies uh, in this box. This is a DVD mystery box, DVD Blu-ray mystery box. Uh, this is actually my Christmas gift from my sister that I uh, got a little while back. Um, I've already kind of peeked into it because it was a Christmas gift. I want to see what was in all in here. But it is uh, some movies. Some of these I already know I don't own. But I forgot two-thirds of what was in here already because uh, my memory is horrible uh but as usual we'll go through see what i have what i don't have give a little bit of reviews for the movie here and there my usual shtick and we'll, we'll go ahead and start it off uh like i said some of this uh i remember and some of it i don't i'm just gonna hand grab a handful we'll see what we got uh let's see the first botch we have beowulf and this is uh the animated cut it has the voice talents of, and honestly, I cannot see it because whoever made the decision to make a dark background and then almost as dark lettering was not using their brain, honestly. It's a good cast. I remember Angelina Jolie um, is, does a voice in it and other people. But you have Beowulf, director's cut on here. Uh, up next, and that's one I'll look to see if I have because it was actually pretty good. It's A Night in Old Mexico. This cowboy ain't done yet. But I'm going to have to check it out mostly because it's got Robert Duvall in it. Uh, the Academy Award winner Robert Duvall. I'm a huge Robert Duvall fan. Yet I've never heard of nor saw this movie. But it's A Night in Old Mexico. So I'll have to check that one out. Never saw it. This movie is pretty funny, and uh, I'm a fan of his work. I'm a big Vince Vaughn fan. I do love Vince Vaughn, but I know, and I know I've saw this, but I'll watch it again. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's kind of annoyingly funny. I'm one of those type that I I don't mind romantic comedies that much. It's just like a scenario thing with me. Uh, but couples retreat, and I do, I do like Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn is very funny. So. Up next we have, and this is a good movie, if I remember correctly, uh, this movie, it's called Wind Talkers with Nicolas Cage, if I remember correctly, this is about um, the Navajo uh, and the Navajo Code. Uh, it's actually a really good movie, I, I will see if I own it, uh, if not I will be definitely putting that in my collection. Up next we have a movie that I, I thought was pretty good, now as a comic book fan it was horrendous. Uh, just because of for what it was um, and personally to me uh, I would have liked to see somebody else play the role but I understand why she did a solo movie because she was in Daredevil as the same character but it's Electra with Jennifer Garner and then this one is actually a really funny movie um, you have Ben Stiller you have uh, Jennifer Aniston uh, and a couple others, but it's uh, Along Came Polly. This one I'll have to check too, see if it's in my, uh, what I own. Because that is a good one. That's a really good one. Like I said, this is a, a good box. It's it's funny, I get, um, I would say, I think I've done three mystery boxes before this one. That's DVD. Two of the three have been pretty good. One of them was horrible, but this is the best one. So far, this is the best one. That and I didn't have to pay for it. So, but uh, this one, and I'll have to watch it. I don't. I, I'm pretty sure I've not saw this. Um, but it's got some great actors and actresses in it. You got Viggy Mortensen, Maria Bello, Ed Harris, and William Hurt. I mean, it's a great cast. It's called A History of Violence, and I'll have to watch it. Um. Uh, the next one up is The Man from Snowy River. Uh, it has Mr. Kirk Douglas. And it's about the only name I recognize. But it is Mr. Kirk Douglas is in this one. Man from Snowy River. Or The Man. Next up is Species The Awakening. And I'm pretty sure I've saw all the species at this point. Uh, the original species had... Uh, Rebecca Romaine, 
remain Stamos. I don't know what her marital status was at the first one, because who can keep up with Hollywood and them marrying? But uh, Species Awakening, I'm not sure if it's the newest one, but she does not return in this one. It's actually, um, I don't remember this lady's name, honestly. Um, I don't even, s I mean, there's names on here, but I don't see hers, and I could just be wrong. Um, but I'll, ch I'll check it out. I actually enjoyed the first one. I thought it was a good one. Um, next up, and I'm pretty sure I own this, but I do like this movie. It's, uh, I don't really know how, I think it's like loosely based on the video game. But it's, uh, done by Yu Bowl, who does, and I might have pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry if I did. It's U-W-E, and then B-O-L-L. -L. He does a lot of, uh, game movie ad adaptations, kind of like more of a B-rated. But it's got Christian Slater, Tara Reid, and Steven Dorff. All three of those people. Like, I like Christian Slater, Tara Reid, and Steven Dorff. Uh, I actually kind of enjoy it, uh, but it's called Alone in the Dark. Actually, I know I have that one. Up next, now this one I have not saw in, I don't know, 20-something years. Um, this came out in 99, so that'd be about right. I've, it's probably been about 20 years since I saw it. But it has Carl Weathers, Terry Hulk Hogan, and Shannon Tweed. Uh, it's called Shadow Warriors. I'll watch it. I mean, it's it's right up my alley. It's just, it's a, it's a old-school action that's, I mean, it's just somebody's going to get blown up, somebody's going to get shot. Uh, they might die five times in one shot, but it would be pretty good. That's just, that's old school classic. Now, I was very, very impressed um, with this version of The Punisher. Some people like it, some people don't. I actually, and I thought John Travolta did a really good job, and Tom Jane did excellent. And also, too, Kevin Nash pops up in it towards the end. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's loose. We're actually going to open it up. Put it back in there. It's not bad condition. Put it back in there. Now, this one I know I own, but I'll watch it again. I love that movie. I probably saw it five, ten times. I really enjoy that movie. It's, it's really good. Up next is kind of like a hidden gem. Uh, this movie's, I think, been out for quite some time now, but it's called Cellular. Basically, basically, it's about this guy who finds a cell phone. For some reason, he answers somebody else's cell phone. I guess he's trying to figure out whose it is, and it ends up he ends up getting embroiled in a case of shenanigans. Like, different things happen. Hopefully, I have the plot right. It's been a long time since I saw it, but you have Kim Basinger, you have Chris Evans... Jason Statham and William H. Macy. You can't go wrong. Excellent cast. I don't know if I own this, but I'll probably end up watching it anyway. And then I'll add it to my collection if I don't have it. It's a really good movie. Uh, up next one, and like I said, this is, these are good movies left and right. You have Deja Vu with Mr. Denzel Washington. And uh, this is actually... I mean, once again, you can't go wrong. Denzel Washington, Paula Patton, Bruce Greenwood, Adam Goldberg, and Jim Caviezel. It's an excellent movie. And wait a minute. I don't see credit on here, but I see Val Kilmer. And when I... Yeah, oh, his name is there. I actually missed it. I'm sorry, Val. I can't believe I missed Val Kilmer's name. I'm a huge Val Kilmer fan. I feel very ashamed that I missed that. But uh, I know I own it. But like I said, that's another one I watch. Now... I was not big on these movies. I know a lot of people who like these movies. I'm a Clint Eastwood fan, but I did not care for this one or the other one. I think this is the uh, sequel. It's any which way you can. I personally, I don't, it wasn't up my alley. It's just, it is what it is. Now, you give him a gun and you give the, uh, what kind of monkey is that? An orangutan. You give that Clint Eastwood and the orangutan a, uh, 357 Magnum and them going around arresting people, I'd watch it. Put them in suits like on Pulp Fiction. I would watch that. You would watch that. I'd watch the current Clint Eastwood, who's what? A thousand years old. Do that. And up next, this is an extremely funny movie. Uh, I've been a fan of his f mid-90s? Maybe late 90s? I don't remember when his show was on. 
Martin Lawrence and Blue Streak. That this movie is hilarious. You have to watch this movie if you ever get a chance. Watch Blue Streak. Uh, like I said, the greatness keeps rolling. Uh, this pile are ones I know I own. Uh, I have to check and see. I'm gonna uh, check them out. And then these are ones I'll have to check out too. I've saw before. I'll just have to see if I own them. This one I have saw, but it's been a really long time. And uh, I did not realize this until the other day. Uh, I mean, it's first I'll tell you what it is. And uh, basic, it's called Basic Instinct 2. It's actually a sequel to the, I don't know, early 90s, mid 90s movie Basic Instinct. But it has Sharon Stone reprises her role. And the actual cop in this one, in the first one it was um, Michael Douglas, I think. In this one it is David Morrissey. Now, most people will know David Morrissey as, I can't even think of his name. He was the bad guy on Walking Dead, and I can't think of it. The governor. The governor. Not to be confused with the governor, which is uh, Arnold. But um, I'm going to, uh, unlike Sharon Stone, I'm just going to flash you the what the movie looks like. So, But that's Basic Instinct 2. Uh, up next is a movie that, to me, it could have been a lot better. Now, I've only saw it once or twice, and it's been a really, really long time, like when it first came out. I like both of these people, but to me, the movie, movie was just not that great. It's called The Island by and Michael Bay. It's a Michael Bay film, and maybe that's why I didn't like it as much. Michael Bay is too hit and miss with me. Uh, he has his really good moments and then really awful. Uh, but this has Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson. Like I said, I like both of them, but I just, I don't know, to me it was just not a good movie. Uh, now, I will go back and watch it, re-watch it, because like I said, it's been a long time. And as you get older, your your feelings towards movies change. It's just the way it is. Uh, up next, you have, uh, which, once again, it's Denzel. So, honestly, this is a good movie. It's not as good as some of his others. It's kind of like outside of the realm of the way he usually does things. But you have Denzel Washington, uh, Eva Mendez, uh, Sanaa Lathan. I hope I don't. Even, I would imagine I butcher her name. If so, sorry about that. I, you have a lot of A's in your name. And then Dean Cain. So I mean, it's a great cast for me. I like that movie. Uh, that one I'll have to see uh, if I own because that's a good one. Now this one I don't think I've ever saw. Um, so I'll have to check it out, but it's called Dark Water with Jennifer Connelly. Um, I don't know a lot about this. Honestly, I'll have to look into it. I'll have to watch it and check it out. But I don't know really anything about that. That one. Uh, the next one, it was kind of like one of those that's... I'm just going to have to check out. I mean, it's got a good cast. I saw the cast. It's got... Um, you have Devin Sawa, Bridget Bri 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 Wilson Sampras, or, yeah, and Rupert Graves and Rufus Sewell. But it's called Extreme Ops. I have... Like I said, I don't think I've ever saw that or heard of it, really. And up next, and... Uh, I actually don't remember seeing this one in there, but... It's kind of funny, we talked about Electra earlier, and we have Daredevil. Now, I enjoy Daredevil, but that's a, it's a long conversation on Daredevil, on how I feel about Daredevil. Um, up next, we have another set, and this is one I used to watch a lot, and then I, my copy got broke, but it's U.S. Seals 2. Um, it's about exactly what it sounds like. And I'll have to refix these piles. And earlier, I had actually mentioned this and did not realize it was in the, the group of species. And we're going to actually see. At this point, she was going by... Oh, and I was wrong. It's not Rebecca Romain. I'm, it's Natasha Henstridge that did the originals. She was also in a whole nine yards. She played Bruce Willis's wife that ended up getting together with Matthew Perry. Excellent movie, but this also has Ben Kingsley, Ben Kingsley, Michael Madsen, Alfred Molina, 
Forrest Whitaker and Marge Helgenberger. Burger King. It's a good movie. I like it. I that's a uh, to me it was good. Now this movie I, I like this movie, but at the same time it kind of uh, there's parts of it that like destroys my brain on what goes on in it. But it's Cold Creek Manor. I have a good cast with it. And the next one, I actually really enjoy this movie. Uh, it's Chris O'Donnell, Bill Paxton, Robin Tunney, and Scott Glenn. It's Vertical Limit. It's about uh, the climbers. Up next, we have Mr. Tom Berenger in Sniper 3. Not Sniper 1 or 2, but 3. And my piles have already got messed up, so I'll fix it later. Uh, up next, we have, and I actually, you know, I thought this was pretty good. I don't really remember it that well. Uh, but honestly, with any of the Terminator movies, except one or two, with one and two, which seem to be beloved by most, to me, Terminator, they're hit and miss. I mean, it's if I'm in the mood, I'll watch any of them. It's fine. You have Terminator 3. And up next, I mean, it was not as good as the original, but I liked what they tried with it. Um, it is the, what I would call the remake with Billy Bob Thornton, Bad News Bears. And then we have one of my favorite movies, 300. And be careful if you go to his home. If he does not like you, he will kick you in a hole. And then up next, and I don't think I saw this entire movie, uh... And it's getting kind of old now, but it's got Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. You have Collateral. So I'll probably have to check that out just because I do like both of them. Um, let's see, up next we have, oh wow, in the world, Tom Cruise again. We have War of the Worlds, and that was actually a pretty good movie. That was, that was pretty good. And then after that, and we've had this in a couple boxes. This is actually a different cover that I've never saw. It's actually kind of a cool cover in but it's Lord of War. I have saw that one before. And up next, and I'll check it out because it is a monster movie. Or what I like to call a monster movie. Uh, or an animal monster movie, I guess it should say. Shark Zone. Welcome to the Shark Zone. And then, I honestly, I love this movie. A lot of people find it dumb. But I like those movies that are awfully, uh, awfully good, which means they're awful. But they're good to some degree. And this is just... It's its one of those movies I like to call It's So Dumb It's Funny. And it's Dude Where's My Car. It's just... That's what it is. Up next, I saw this. And I think this is about the third or fourth Steven Dorff movie, actually. But it's been a really long time since I saw this. But it's called Fear.com. Alright, and another batch, which this is a good box. This is actually a really good box. Now, I actually really enjoy this movie. Uh, I've saw it a couple of times. It's called Taking Lives. Uh, it is about a FBI profiler played by Angel Angelina Jolie. Or Jolie, whatever. I like saying Jolie. Uh, up next is an actual really good cast. And it's called Takers. And then the next one, I actually saw this not long ago, but Richard Gere and Diane Lane in Unfaithful. And it's exactly what you think it's about. And up next, and this movie is actually really, 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 really hilarious. Uh, if you like Seth Green, Matthew Lillard, or Dak Shepard, or just one of them, you will love this movie. It's called Without a Paddle. And then the next one, which is an excellent, excellent movie. It's getting actually pretty up there in age now. I think this actually won some awards. Or at least was up for a lot of awards. Uh, it's called Crash. It's actually a good movie. And up next, we have, and I've never saw this and probably never will. Um, it is called Pitcher in the Pinup. That sounds like a Hallmark movie. But late night. Hey, up next we have... Adam Sandler, Kate Beckinsale, and Christopher Walken. I actually like all three, but I remember when this movie was back on... Uh, on 
back in the day I didn't care for it or wanted to see it. It's called Click. Up next, and I think this has been in a couple of different boxes, but it is so an excellent movie, Inside Man. You can't go wrong. Uh, up next, and I've actually saw this as an excellent movie, Mr. John Travolta, The General's Daughter. Uh, the next one is Flat Plane with Jodie Foster. Now, this is one of those movies where... Um, even though I pulled for the whole movie, it, it really had you thinking, as in, wait a minute, is she crazy? Or is she not crazy, but she's crazy. And up next is Bad Parenting number one, as I like to call it, Bad Parenting, Taken. Now, I don't know if I've had this one in other boxes, but I know I've had some of the others. And we'll do, next up are the final four. Um, up oh, this one, and this is an excellent, excellent movie. Now I've only, I've only saw this one time, but you have Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Marsha Gay Harden, and Lauren Linney, and it is an actual Clint Eastwood movie, or movie by Clint Eastwood called Mystic River. It's a good movie. It's just been a really, really long time since I saw it. Uh, the next one, and I'll watch this, this looks like this could just be pure fun, but you have Billy Zane, Brad Dorf, Paul Popowicz, and Cam, Cam Heskin. It's called Vlad. So I'll, I'll take that one out. And the second to the last one. Um, I deeply like uh, Kirsten Dunst, and she plays deeply in this movie. I don't know if that's who she plays, but this is deeply. I don't even know what it's about. I'll check it out. And the last one, and this is actually a really excellent movie. They play off each other really well. Um, I, I will say this. It is... I don't even know how many times I've saw this. I actually remember seeing this on big screen back in, back in the day in theaters. Um, and... I think I've, I think there's three of them. I remember seeing one and two in theaters. I don't know about three, but this one is a classic. They play off each other great. Rush Hour. I mean, it's an excellent movie, and it's the best of the three because it's the original. But yeah, a uh, great Christmas gift. There's a lot of them I'll have to go through. Uh, this whole pile, I'll have to watch this one and check them out. This one I have to see if I own. If not, they're going in my uh, collection. And then these I'll have to look through too. This is actually the best box I've gotten out of all of the mystery boxes. So until next time, comment below uh, which one you think is your favorite movie. Um, there's so many good ones in here. But uh, you no. Know, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. And until next time, auf Wiedersehen.